So, Alinity was just banned from Twitch for three days, and it's causing her to consider leaving Twitch to stream on another site. Now, I'm not a big fan of Alinity, or really her style of content, but even I can see why she's upset. This is another case of Twitch's complete inability to apply rules in any reasonable fashion. They have a history of banning streamers for small things, but also it just seems like they randomly assign ban lengths without even considering what happened. So today, let's talk about why Alinity got banned, for how long, and why this is a symptom of a bigger problem at Twitch that they've been ignoring for years, but won't be able to for much longer. So, why did Alinity get banned? Well, it's a bit of a weird one. People dance on Twitch all the time. Heck, people do much more risque things than dance on Twitch. But Alinity got banned for twerking on stream. Yeah, this is the reason for her ban. Had to mute it because they're playing a song, but according to Alinity, this is what she got banned for on Twitch. And for three days too. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not really a big fan of the whole Twitch hot tub meta and the ongoing sexualization of Twitch. I think it's just kind of a moral issue for a website that hosts video game streams, which draw in young users to also be hosting a lot of more risque videos, with very little in the way of stopping them from finding it. But, I'm not sure that Alinity's dance actually crosses any lines there. I mean, within a few seconds, I'm I'm fairly confident that I can find way worse streams going on right now. And yeah, here we go. Within seconds I found a bunch of streams that have people showing off way more skin, but not enough to get them banned. And let's be clear, I think all of those streams crossed the line way more than what Alinity did in this case. So why was Alinity punished, but these other streams are allowed to go on? Well, according to Alinity, it's because someone reported her, and no one has reported these other instances. She posted this on Twitter. When I tell them that there's way worse in the platform, all Twitch says is, well, it needs to be reported for a ban, so I guess go ahead and report anything you think it worse than this? Cause there is lots. Which begs the question, what does Twitch even have moderation staff for? If they're going to literally claim that you will only get banned if someone reports you, that's kind of a tacit admission that the moderators don't actually, you know, moderate anything. They're just there to hand out punishments. I guess that makes sense when you consider how ridiculous some of their ban reasons are. I mean, we recently had a streamer who accidentally leaked fake nude images of other streamers while live on stream, leading to people discovering those fake photos existed, leading to the harassment of the streamers in the fake photos, and as far as I can tell, he wasn't banned for that. But twerking gets Alinity taken down. I clicked into one of those streams I saw earlier, and let's just say that the girl was doing a lot more than just twerking, let alone showing enough skin to give an entire Mormon town heart attacks. So it just seems weird. In the past, there have been a lot of accusations of favoritism and dishonesty among the Twitch moderation team. And I I do believe that there is blatant favoritism over there. I mean, how can Alinity get banned for dancing for a few seconds, but other streamers can sit in hot tubs with subscriber goals to do squats? or other activities that are clearly meant to simulate something sexually explicit without actual nudity. I mean, even Alinity said that she got less than three days suspension for showing actual accidental nudity on stream. You're gonna tell me that her dancing fully clothed is worse than that? I don't really think so. And let me reiterate, I'm not even someone who thinks any of this whole show as much skin as possible to attract men with loose pockets thing is good. But Twitch has pretty much condoned way worse than Alinity's behavior for years, so I think she has more than enough reason to be annoyed. What I don't get about Twitch is that they seem to go out of their way to not act like a competent company. What's the first thing that any video hosting website has to figure out? The rules what's allowed and what's not, and the severity of breaking those rules. Yet, even in cases much more blatant than this one, Twitch seems to have no official guide for how long a ban should be for breaking certain rules. It really seems like they just kind of hand out ban lengths at random, which isn't really conducive to being an actual business that people want to use. I mean, look at YouTube. Every rule is kind of spelled out in stone. They don't get updated that often, and though they are wrong when enforcing things sometimes, a lot. At least you know what punishment you'll get and how long until you're back to normal when you go afoul of the rules on here. I don't think Twitch is going to be able to get away with running their company like a frat house with no rules for much longer though. Even now, as Alinity mentioned she's considering moving to another site, I'm sure she's not the only one. A number of competitors with much less arcane rules and much clearer info on what happens when you break them have been popping up in the live streaming space. The most obvious being Kick. I'm sure she'd do fine over there and also Rumble has recently decided to start taking on streaming. Both of those sites have their ups and downs, but I don't think either one would have banned her for this. And that's not even mentioning YouTube, who also wouldn't have banned her for this kind of dance. Twitch needs to shape up if they don't want to lose the live streaming war. Every time they have a weird controversy like this, it introduces uncertainty. And people don't like uncertainty. It will drive people away from Twitch and towards the competitors. And for every big streamer like Alinity that they lose to a competitor, the audience that goes with that creator will suddenly become familiar with a new site and each one of those users might be someone who never looks back. 
back. Lucky for Twitch, this isn't really a hard problem for them to solve. All they have to do is release clear, concise literature containing the rules. For every rule that they list, they should also add a punishment range and some information about what happens beyond a first time offense. And then just stick to those rules. If they were to just do that, they would clear up one of the biggest and long running problems that people have with the entire site. Honestly, Twitch, hire me and I'll just do it for you. It's not that hard. But they never will do this since this has been something that people have asked for for years and nothing has ever been done. At the end of the day, I think that it just boils down to Twitch culture. They never wanted to become the corporation that they ended up becoming. And it seems like from the outside at least, that they never really implemented any real corporate policies over things as obviously in need of them, like moderation. If they want to be a big player in the live streaming space, I don't think it's too much to ask that they act like one. Now, they recently got a new CEO, so I'll be interested to see if anything changes over there with that. But I'm not too hopeful, since he's already been in charge for a little while without much change. Anyway, what do you guys think about this whole thing? Do you think Twitch needs to fix their moderation issues, or do you think it's all fine as it is? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching till the end. Have a great day, and God bless you.